I am pleased to be here today on behalf of the United States House of Representatives, where on Friday we delivered a unanimous Democratic vote to pass this <laughs> Inflation Reduction Act. It was one of the few truly historic days in the 30 years I have spent in the Congress. Mr. President, I want to thank you for your tireless work to add this remarkable legislation to your long and growing list of accomplishments. In just 18 months, often away from public view, your administration has created a record number of jobs. Your American Rescue Plan helped our country overcome a once in a century pandemic. Your Infrastructure and Jobs Act is making historic investments in broadband and to repair and bolster our infrastructure. Your CHIPS and Science Act will strengthen our critical supply chains and give real substance and new meaning to make it in America. The Inflation Reduction Act you are about to sign will lead to transformative change in this great country. It checks inflation by reducing the deficit by $300 billion over the next decade. It ensures more tax fairness by requiring corporations to pay a minimum of 15% while protecting families making less than $400,000 per year from paying one penny more. We are called to be good stewards of this planet, and this legislation cuts climate pollution by 40% in just eight years while building a new clean energy economy that will make electricity accessible and affordable and create nine million new jobs. Now, Mr. President, you know how much you meant to my late wife, Emily, who three years ago lost her 30-year battle with diabetes. If she were here today, she would be beyond joy celebrating the $35 per month cap on insulin and the $3,000 annual cap on out-of-pocket costs for Medicare patients. She will also rejoice in the three-year extension for our Affordable Care Act subsidies and the authorization of Medicare to negotiate some drug prices. <laughs> Emily had adequate health insurance, but many of our neighbors and her friends did not. Mr. President, you took office at a time when we were in dire need of a statesman willing to put people over politics. Many seem surprised at your successes. I am not, because I know you. But more importantly, you know and respect the American people. Now, I am pleased to introduce Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer. 